Today we're going to design a book cover where elements go in and out of each other. It, this came from a question that I was asked a while ago. So this is the cover that we're going to make. I'm Jeevani Charika, women's fiction artist, author and canvasador. And I'm here to show you how to use Canva as an author to promote your books and make your own book covers and all that kind of good stuff. Okay, let's get designing. Before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any com questions, just pop them in the comments. Create a design and custom size. And we're going to go for 1600 by 2560, which is the recommended size for a Kindle book cover. I was going to do a book cover called Power Games. That's the title and we need a fairly chunky font. Let's try archival black. That's quite chunky, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's definitely chunkier than the other one. Okay, right. And we're going to find a background for it, which actually, first of all, we're going to find the main element, which is a snake. And I searched for snake cut out and I got this, which I thought was rather cool. Let's have a look which way up do we want him? Do we want him coming down? Oh, that's quite cool. I like that. Let's have that. Okay, so what we want is we want this snake to be going in and out through the thing, right? What colors have we got? We've got green. Now, if we could get, and red, if we could get something that contrasted the red, that would be good. I did a bit of searching and earlier I found this, which I quite liked as a color and a texture. It's got a ladder in it, but we don't need the ladder. Let's just make it bigger and even bigger than that. There. Okay, and set it to the back. Position to the back. Okay. Let's make our snake a little bit bigger and move our title a bit higher. Okay. Right, now what we want to do, the question was, how do I make things overlap? So what we want is we want the snake's tail to go under, over, come over, and then maybe go back under, come over again, and then over here. Okay, let's move him around until we've got him in the right sort of place. Okay, now right. the way to do this, it's really quite simple. Now, if you were using Photoshop or something, you would erase out the bits that overlapped, but we can't do that easily in Canva. You can, but it's hard. So much easier way to do this is to duplicate your snake, move it so that it is exactly where you want it to be. And so we want this coil to come over. Let's do that so that that coil comes over now and it goes under, under, and this bit here comes over. So let's do that again, duplicate again and line it up and then crop it until you've got the bit that comes over. There we go. And now your snake is going in and out of your words. Okay, so this looks pretty good, but in order for something to look 3D, when it, it has to cast a shadow, so we'll get this one. In fact, let's get the whole snake, the old original one. Edit photo. Try 
drop shadow and let's make the distance a bit lower so it's closer to the ground okay what's it done now okay sometimes it needs a minute all right and let's put this put it back in the right place okay I think it might have made it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now this has to go on top of the writing. So edit photo, shadows, give it a minute. There we go. And this again, let's crop that right up to there. Get it a tiny bit smaller so it fits properly. One of the things we could do for this for the is to take the writing and give that a shadow as well. Let's make it also black. And effects shadow can increase the blur a bit so that it's less and decrease the transparency. Let's leave it like that. Actually, let's increase the which way is the thing coming from? It needs to be in the same direction as the shadow on the snake. sort of like there and offset a bit more there okay so you have a snake going in and out of words and you've got lots of things which are overlapping and oh, seeing as this is going to be a book cover let's give it And you could have line goes here and let's find a font that goes slightly better with this one what's this one archival black top tip you can google font pair archival black and see what comes up let's try if they've got Laura Sometimes, oh, it does, it is, it exists. So there you go. Somebody else has done all the hard work of working out what's a good font pair. And put everything else in Laura. And then let's use the same red. There 
In fact, that could probably be black because there's quite a lot of black in there. There we go. Perfectly serviceable cover. If you found this useful, please tell all your friends. And if you are an author who'd like to come and talk to other authors on how to use Canva, come and join the free Facebook group Canva Tips for Authors. The link is in the description. If you want to buy any of the covers that I make in these tutorials, just email me. And if the cover is free, if I haven't sold it already, I will sell you the Canva template so that you can make changes as you need to. Thank you for your time.